There's a tightrope that the president's walking here. Um, one around uh, sort of the moral view around that murder of Khashoggi, and I don't know what kind of penalty you think uh, on sort of a human rights basis he's supposed to be making. And then the leverage, and I made this comment last, last uh, hour and got a lot of sort of feedback on Twitter saying, what, what leverage are you talking about? I said, look, there's an economic leverage piece that Saudi has over us, and sort of how do you think about the moral piece on one end and the economic leverage, and then the moral piece on that end, which is to say what kind of leverage and impact that has over the whole country. How do you think about that? I mean, absolutely. I mean, the Biden administration would say that this visit to the Middle East is beyond oil. They would say, essentially, we're seeking a strategic reset with countries like Saudi Arabia, and that we essentially need their help right now because we have this war with Russia, we have this issue of, you know, rising commodity prices. And yes, they raise human rights concerns in conversations with these heads of state. But right now, the imperative is, is that they need the help of countries like Saudi Arabia. For, for example, Russia sanctions. I mean, right now, we're going to be facing a situation where 2.2 to 2.4 million barrels of Russian oil is going to be locked out of Europe. Who's going to supply Europe when that happens? They need additional Saudi volume. So, again, right now, they are putting the economic issues front and center, right. but they say it's also about strategic relationships as well. Alima, we're looking at WTI right now at about $101, $102 uh, per barrel. I haven't seen what it is in the past couple of days now uh, at, at the pump. I think we're, we're somewhere in the mid fours, closing it on five, depending on, on where you are state by state. What do you think is realistic in terms of uh, over the next, call it, three months this summer? I mean, right now, I mean, the Biden administration is getting a breather because of these recession concerns. I mean, that is certainly putting a lid on oil prices. But again, I would be really watching what happens in the coming months because Russia is going to be hit with serious energy sanctions come December. And the question is, does Russia start essentially weaponizing commodities in advance of those sanctions? And pay very close attention on natural gas prices, because look what is happening with Nord Stream 1, that all-important pipeline that feeds Russian gas into Europe. It is down till July 21 because of maintenance reasons, but there is real concern that Russia will not restart those pipelines, essentially making Europe pay a very, very heavy price for these sanctions. Right. And again, so you're, we you're still bet, need, you're betting yeah. energy prices move higher. My bet is, is that we're going to see further Russian action in the back half of this year that will push prices higher. Again, the recession right. concerns could be a tailwind for oil, but I'm looking at Russian action. I think the Russians are going to get more aggressive going into December right. 5 when those sanctions take effect. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.